Hey Motorman here with a quick tip. We're going to talk today about trail braking. A lot of people think that you can't apply your brakes in a turn. You can and it's best to use the front brake when doing so because as you put a little bit of pressure on the front brake it's going to bring the front end of the motorcycle down and give you more traction. Now I'm going to show you a shot of my hand on the brake to give you an example. So right now I'm going to roll the motorcycle back. I've got no brake at all. I'm going to put just a little bit of brake pressure on it until it makes it harder to back up the motorcycle right there it's getting a little bit harder but I can still push it backwards if I bring it a little bit more pressure on it I can't move the bike at all so somewhere between 1% and about 5% of braking pressure is what you need to trail brake in a turn what you do not want to do and which will cause you problems every time is if you got the motorcycle leaned over and you grab or snatch that front brake that's when you lose traction slight brake movement just a tiny bit, maybe 5-10%. If you need a little bit more, you're coming around a curve a little bit too fast. Something appears in your way, your hand is already on the brake, and you won't have the tendency to snatch it or grab it. That's what we want to avoid. It's light, easy pressure. It could be done, you could practice it just about anywhere. But we're going to go down a little bit of a winding road, and I'll show you how it works. Trail braking is just another skill or another trick that you could put in your your bag of tricks so it's there when you need it it's a good thing to practice so I'm gonna put two fingers on the brake here I'm gonna slow down a little bit using the front brake now I release the front brake downshift I'm gonna put a little pressure on that front brake and I release the pressure when I want to accelerate now if you're going at a leisurely pace you might not need any brake at all, not front brake or rear brake. For instance, we'll go around these curves. I'm going about 40 miles an hour. I'm gonna maintain that speed. Don't need any brake at all. I'm gonna go around this current a little faster. I'm gonna put a little front brake on until I can see the exit and pick up speed. One more time, I want to pick up some speed around this curve. I'm going to get on the front brake just a little bit. Releasing that throttle, slowing down. Now I can pick up speed because I can see the exit. Again, a little front brake as I'm going in. I'm going to maintain a little bit of front brake see the exit again on the front brake off the throttle I see the exit I can pick up some speed and you're just using that front brake on the brake a little bit off the brake on the brake off the brake you don't want to use throttle and brake at the same time it's going to defeat the purpose Even coming around this corner here I'm gonna use some front brake slowing the bike down till I get to the speed I want to be at I release the brake and I can accelerate now for this week's special go on the website ridelikeapro.com do it right now order the USB version of the Ride Like a Pro Experience and Surviving the Mean Streets both on the USB and we're going to throw in a Ride Like a Pro patch a Ride Like a Pro reflective helmet sticker and of course the Ride Like a Pro Experience practice guide do it now, $34.95.